in one of the interviews, I believe it's a recent one, a few months okay. ago, that one of your goals in life is to understand the universe. Maybe that's sure. the predominant goal. So firstly, what does it mean to understand the universe? Yeah, you know, I'm not actually... This is a difficult question, right? I mean, so, so, yeah. No, I mean, what I would say in response to that question is um, that was very, very definitely um, a strong guiding motivator or maybe the only motivator when I was young, before I was actually officially in games. Like when, in the 80s, when I had home computers and I was just like doing hobbyist stuff. Uh-huh. Um, but I, even then I knew it was a hard question and I knew that any answer that I could predict would be extremely unsatisfactory, right? It, it wouldn't be a real answer. And so I knew I was setting myself up for a very, very, very hard thing. Now, like what's interesting is I sort of got into doing game stuff almost as a temporary reprieve from that as like, oh man, you know, this thing, it's too hard. Um, I'm in, there was a time in life when I felt like I am, I am insufficient to, uh, to approach this problem without being completely destroyed. Therefore, my job is actually, um, to go away for a little bit and get stronger. And later, I'll know something better about how to approach this, right? When you say this, you mean the problem of understanding the universe? And what do you mean that you'll be destroyed? Yes. And also, how old were you when you had that thought? So for, so two questions. How old were you when you had that thought? And what do you mean by you'll be destroyed by your This search? was, uh, you know, around sometime when I was in college. So I was probably, I was probably like 20 years old or something like that. Um, 19, maybe. Um, and I would say that, that part of my personality at this time was, so, you know, I knew looking around, hey, we, we have a world full of people who also kind of claim to want to understand the world, um, but also s seem to... Uh, seem to be satisfied by obviously insufficient answers, right? Um, and, well, part of my personality was, no, we're not going to take insufficient answers, right? We're going to look at things and go all the way to the root of them. Like, what happens if you play this out, if you play this belief out to the end, right? Or if you play this idea of how things are supposed to work out to the end. And I would say I was a little bit overzealous in that because I was a little too young to do that kind of thinking. But um, one thing I got very good at is, which was probably largely true, um, was just playing an idea out and saying, okay, this thing, if you really look at it, already maps to this other thing, which I already decided is meaningless. And so this is meaningless too, right? Mm -hmm. And so you can look at everything and see that there's nothing there for you. If what you really want is some kind of, you know, deep truth that um, <laughs> that that will somehow answer this question of understanding the universe, um, it is, it is very easy to look at things and realize that they do not, that they are not representative of that truth or answering of Let's give question. some examples because right now it's extremely abstract. I don't, I mean, the, the problem is it's going to be hard for me to give you accurate examples because this is 30 years ago, right? And so I don't exactly remember the exact thought process that I, process that I had. It's more, I remember these, I remember what it felt like to be there, right? And what it felt like was, you know, I can look at any concept and very rapidly understand that it has nothing for me. And so I'm just in this void where there's nothing for me anywhere, right? 
Have you gotten over that? Not a hundred percent, but um, like I said, so the the plan was just to uh, just to take a break and get stronger and smarter and develop somehow develop a view um, that would enable me to just be in a better position to ask some of these questions, right? Um, okay, so you were around 20, 21, 22. Something like and that. you had aspirations of answering some of the largest questions that there are, and you realized you couldn't do so, or the answers that were provided to you were, you didn't find admissible. It's not like I wanted to publicly answer something or like, you know, win the Nobel Prize for answering something. It was it was just a very deep interior drive, right? I just wanted to, like saying, saying wanting to know is not even right because it wasn't about knowing. It was about wanting, like I'm here in the world as a human being and like what should I be doing or what, where should my attention be going? Or like, what is the, you know, what is the point of doing anything? Obviously, I want the things that I do to be uh, in concordance with something, right? Or it's just, it's, it's very difficult to verbalize because it's a very deep desire that I had at that age.